George and Carol, it was the first day of play here at Aaron Hills. Everyone's focus should have been on the tees, but instead they were all looking in the air, not believing what they were seeing. We have a blimp down, manned aircraft down. People could only watch as a blimp circling the U.S. Open first started to go down and then exploded. It basically just dropped straight down, straight down to the ground, and then once it was on the ground, it exploded about two or three times. Even U.S. Open golfer Jamie Lovemark saw it happen as he was on the course. I, I was teeing off, and I looked up, and I saw it on fire, and I felt sick to my, I felt sick to my stomach. I had the shakes. I felt, you know, I felt terrible. For People Before the crash, people noticed something wasn't right. It's just starting to fishtail a little bit, but then I noticed it's starting to deflate. The NTSB says this was the second flight of the day for the pilot when he realized there was a problem. He turned around to go back to land and turned off the fuel. A couple seconds later, he said he heard a cup, another rip sound. Um, the airship pitched nose down. That's when the blimp caught fire and went down. The pilot was stuck in a cage when he crashed, but the NTSB says he was able to drag himself away from the blimp before it exploded. You know, I hope the guy's all right. What well, you can't believe what you just seen. You know, I mean, it's it's kind of surreal to be part of this whole weekend. Now, because this happened outside of the course, play was never affected here. The pilot is in stable condition tonight in a Milwaukee hospital. The NTSB says he was wearing a fireproof suit, and that probably helped save his life. Reporting live at Aaron Hills, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4. Thank you, Rebecca.